Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find all the real values of x that satisfy this algebraic equation. To solve this problem, let us begin with a very simple substitution. Let the square root of x be equal to the letter d. Of course, you know that d must be greater than 0 because the square root of a positive real number must always be positive. Now, when we square both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to d squared. The next thing we are going to do is to rewrite the original equation in terms of d. Here we have x squared. x squared is going to be equal to d squared squared. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So this is going to be equal to d to the power of 4 minus 10 d squared plus 1 divided by d squared plus 1 and of course this is equal to d now to get rid of this fraction on the left hand side let us multiply through this equation by d squared plus 1 on the left hand side this is going to cancel that leaving us with d to the power of 4 minus 10 d squared plus 1 while on the right hand side we have d times d squared which is d cubed plus d times 1 which is d now let us move these two terms over to the left hand side when we do that this equation becomes d to the power 4 minus d cubed minus 10 d squared minus d plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, when you look at this quartic equation arranged in descending powers of d, you'll notice that the coefficients of the outermost terms are the same, 1 and 1. Also, the coefficients of the next inner terms are the same, minus 1 and minus 1. And then the middle term has the coefficient minus 10. So this quartic equation is symmetrical. There's a very easy way to factor such quartic equations. Let us assume that this quartic equation has two quadratic factors. And let the quadratic factors be d squared plus a d plus 1 and d squared plus b d plus 1. Now, our task is to find the values of a and b. To do this, let us multiply these two brackets. We have d squared times d squared. That is d to the power of 4. d squared times bd. That is bd cubed. d squared times 1. That is d squared. ad times d squared. This is going to give us ad cubed. AD times BD. This is going to give us ABD squared. And AD times 1 is going to give us AD. Then finally, 1 times D squared is going to give us D squared. 1 times BD is going to give us BD. And 1 times 1 is going to give us 1. Now let us add everything together. Here we have d to the power of 4. Here we have a plus b times d to the power of 3. So this is plus a plus b times d to the power of 3. Here we have 1 plus 1, which is 2, plus ab times d squared. So this is 2 plus ab times d squared. Here we have a plus b times d. So this is a plus b times d. And then finally we have 1. Of course, you know that for these two quartic equations to be the same, then the coefficients must be the same. So we have to equate coefficients to find the values of a and b. The coefficients of d to the power of 4 are 1. They are the same. The constant terms, 1, the same. 
Now here we have that a plus b must be equal to minus 1. That is the coefficient of d cubed. So we have that a plus b must be equal to minus 1. Here, for the coefficient of d squared, we have that 2 plus ab must be equal to minus 10. So, 2 plus ab must be equal to minus 10. Here, we have that a plus b must be equal to minus 1. That is for the coefficient of d. We've already written that, and then we have the constant term. So, here we have that a plus b is equal to minus 1. And here we have that ab is equal to minus 10 minus 2, which is minus 12. So, basically, we are looking for two numbers whose sum is minus 1 and whose product is minus 12. So, the two numbers should be 3 and minus 4 because 3 minus 4 is going to give us minus 1 and 3 times minus 4 is going to give us minus 12. So, that means that the factors of this cubic equation are d squared plus 3d plus 1 and d squared minus 4d plus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that either d squared plus 3d plus 1 is equal to 0 or d squared minus 4d plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization. So, let us solve by completing the square. We have d squared plus 3d is equal to minus 1. Now, we divide 3 by 2, square it, and add to both sides of the equation to complete the square. We have d squared plus 3d plus 3 over 2 squared. And this is equal to minus 1 plus 3 over 2 squared. Now, of course, you know that this left-hand side is a perfect square. So we take 1d and we take 1, 3 over 2 and we square. And this is equal to minus 1 plus 3 squared is 9 and 2 squared is 4. This is equal to 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 9 is 5. So this is 5 over 4. And when we take square root of both sides of this equation, we have that d plus 3 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 over 4. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And subtracting 3 over 2 from both sides of the equation, we have that d is equal to minus 3 over 2 plus root 5 over 2 or minus 3 over 2 minus root 5 over 2. So we have two values of d, but both values are negative. Remember that d must be positive. So we are not going to accept any of these values of d. Coming over to this equation, once more, we cannot solve it by factorization. So let us complete the square. We have d squared minus 4d is equal to minus 1. Once more, we divide minus 4 by 2, square it and add to both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have d squared minus 4d plus minus 2 squared is equal to minus 1 plus minus 2 squared. Of course, you know that this is a perfect square. So we have d minus 2 squared is equal to minus 1 plus 4, which is equal to 3. Taking square root of both sides of this equation, we have that d minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. And of course, when we add 
2 to both sides of this equation we have that d is equal to 2 plus root 3 or 2 minus root 3. Now both of these values of d are positive so we accept both of them. So the two values of x that satisfy this equation are x equal to 2 plus root 3 squared and x equal to 2 minus root 3 squared. Evaluating this, we have 2 squared is 4 plus 2 times 2 times root 3, that is 4 root 3 plus root 3 squared is 3. This is equal to 7 plus 4 root 3. And this is equal to 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2 times minus root 3 is minus 4 root 3. And minus root 3 squared is plus 3. This is equal to 4 plus 3 is 7 minus 4 root 3. So these are the two values of x that satisfy this algebraic equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.